I spent the last two weeks searching endlessly for useful apps not on the Play Store, and after countless times of installing and uninstalling apps, the list is complete. Welcome to the best Android apps you won't find on the Play Store. I use developer options on my phone all the time because it gives me access to sweet features I can't get normally on Android. But with developer options being on, apps like banking apps and financial apps won't let me access them until I turn off developer options, which is super frustrating. And a simple fix to that is DevQS, an app that lets you turn on and off developer options directly from the quick settings with a single tap. All you have to do is add the DevQS quick tile to your quick settings tray, then tap on it and copy this command and activate it via PC. And if you don't have a PC, don't worry because I'll show you how to activate the app without a PC. Just stick till the end. The stable Android 16 update is just around the corner, bringing a new redesign to Android, but it still bothers me that there is no built-in app lock feature on Android till now. Even Samsung, the king of features, doesn't have one. Like, our friends over at the dark side got the feature and we didn't. Well, as we wait for the feature, here is an app called AppLock, an app that lets you lock any of your apps with ease. Just select your desired apps and boom, no one can access them without a password. And the best thing about the app is that it follows material you design, has a clean interface, supports use of fingerprints, and has three working modes, which is accessibility, usage statistics, and Shizuku, which allows for the best functionality possible. Next up on the list is AdSkip, an app that lets you, well, you guessed it, skip ads on YouTube. Basically, all you have to do is grant it all permissions, and whenever you play a YouTube video with an ad, the app will mute the ad and tap on the skip button automatically. Been using it for a while, and it's fantastic. And hey, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't skip any of our future videos. Get it? Skip? Ad skip? You don't get it? Come on. Moving on the list is AppOps, an app that lets you see every single permissions that apps on your device have access to. You just tap on any app from the list and you can see every single permission and when it was modified. And if you tap on the permissions, you can choose to ignore, deny, ask every time or allow only when using the app. There are other features too found in the app like clipboard monitor, usage monitor and so on, but I'll let you explore those on your own. Living alone comes with its own sets of challenges, like maybe when you get an emergency and you can't even hold your phone to call for help. And that's where this app comes into action. It's called Keep Alive, and this app will send a message or call someone close whenever you haven't used your phone for a set amount of time, say 12 hours. Plus, within the settings, you can change the alert message, add multiple numbers, and even choose to add location info to give people an idea of where you are. And pro tip, before using the app, be sure to add a rest period like hours when you're asleep so that the app doesn't mistake those hours for inactivity. Alright, keeping track of our recurring expenses like Spotify, Netflix, or Rent can be very overwhelming. But with this app, that is changing because all you have to do is add your recurring expenses and their recurrence, like maybe days, weeks, months, or years, and the app will show you when the next payments are due, how much are you supposed to spend in the current month, and the app can even give you reminders three days in advance before your next payment, which is really nice. Plus, it has a built-in app lock feature for extra privacy on your expenses. For my privacy conscious friends, this next one is for you. It's called Chromite, a privacy focused browser forked from the discontinued Bromite browser, which gives you an ad free browsing experience through its strong built in ad blocker. Plus, the browser runs on the Chromium project, which means it looks and works similar to Google Chrome, but with an additional layer of privacy and security. It also supports dark mode for both the app and sites you visit, which is super cool. And it also supports a wide range of search engines like DuckDuckGo, Google, Bing, Yandex, and Yahoo, which you can choose basing on your preference. Alright, as promised on setting up the DevQS app, all you have to do is download an app called HLU, link is in the description, then go to the app and look for ADB via wireless debugging, then click on start. Then select connect a new device, 
Then select connect this device, then here tap on developer options and here look for wireless debugging, then activate it. And tap on wireless debugging and select pair device with pairing code. And type in the code in the ADB notification and you should see it says connected. Now head back to HLU and go to ADB via wireless debugging, then select start and select the connected connection and now paste the command here given by the DevQS app and hit on send and you're good to go. Plus, don't worry, this is a one-time process. You won't have to redo the process again when you want to use the app. And hey, that's the full list of the best Android apps not available on the Play Store. Also, be sure to check out this video on the screen to discover some of the best open source apps for your Android device. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one.